Okay, hello everyone. Um, so this is following the announcement posts that I made on Moodle um, regarding the COVID-19 closure period. Okay, so let me just uh, read out a little bit here. So TUD Tala is closed until March the 29th at the, at the earliest uh, in accordance with the policy announcement by the government on Thursday the 12th of March 2020. And I'm aware that there is a lot of confusion on both sides here, both students and staff, regarding how this is going to impact assessments and examinations. And let's make it very clear right off that this is not a holiday period, okay? Staff at TUD have been directed to work under the assumption that examinations will take place during the May exam period as usual, which means all learning outcomes for each module must still be assessed, including the topics which have not yet been delivered in lectures. Now, lecturers have been directed to provide support for students to the best of our abilities um, in the delivery of these new topics, okay? Now, some lecturers, they're choosing to use Microsoft Teams as a way of, of presenting information, um, presenting lectures. Uh, I've downloaded this, I've installed it to my devices, and I'm going to try to learn how to use it in the next few days. Um, but what, from what I've seen so far, I don't really think it's relevant to the kind of modules that I teach, okay? Teams seems to have basically a group chat functionality and a screen share functionality. And that would be plenty sufficient if lecturers were delivering topics from PowerPoint slides or something like that. Um, but for mathematics, I don't really think that's ideal, okay? Um, also, I do think that Teams, their servers is gonna be under an awful lot of pressure uh, in coming weeks and that option might be less reliable than people think, okay? Um, okay, so obviously I teach mathematical subjects, and in mathematical subjects, most students prefer uh, to see things worked out on a board, you know, with verbal explanations as we go along. Um, I know personally I never enjoyed seeing maths presented on slides. It, it never worked for me, and most students tell me the same. They tell me that that's not... Um, their preferred way of learning. So I would, I would prefer an option which approximates that traditional method of presentation. And in my own professional experience, I'm far more comfortable presenting, you know, with uh, a board and verbal explanations than I am with, with slides and, and, you know, uh, laser pointers or whatever. So I think this might give the best approximation of, of what I'm, I'm doing here. So uh, my option, uh, what, I'm, what I'm thinking uh, we'll go ahead with, is that we might use pre-recorded YouTube videos, which I would organize into playlists. Um, videos would just be this, okay? They would be my hands uh, showing a refill pad. I'll write with a marker and I will work through things and explain as I go along, okay? Um, comment sections on the YouTube videos could then be used for Q&A, um, which, you know, it would be good, um, I think, uh, because that functionality would be right there. We could make use of it. Um, also, YouTube is, is quite a stable platform and we could look into the possibility of live streaming, although I don't quite know how that works and I'd have to look into it, okay? Um, so this is the setup. This is what we'll be uh, working with. Um, this is my kitchen table. Um, it's really the only place that I'll be able to do this. And in order to try to do this video project, uh, to try to teach in this way, I've uh, set up a, a lamp just out of, out of frame here so everything should be plenty bright. Um, I have my smartphone mounted on a, a tripod that I, I bought earlier today, which is just over my right shoulder. And that tripod is connected to a microphone stand that I already owned. And uh, just in, you know, over here I have my laptop so I can see notes and things like that and make sure I stay on track and uh, refer to past exams or whatever it is that we're working on at the time. Um, so just a, a couple of caveats here. As I said, this is my kitchen table. It's really the only place that I can, uh, I can do this. And 
I have cats, okay? They, they might occasionally shuffle around. They might even climb into the frame at some stage. It might happen. I don't know. Um, and I'm not going to delete long videos and start over again just because my cat walks in or something like that. Um, also, um, uh, my partner, you know, she's working from home as well um, during this, uh, um, this closure period. And, you know, she will occasionally walk into the room and there might be a little bit of noise and we'll just try to uh, try to work around it. I don't really see that there'll be any other possibility. Okay, we're we're all trying to do the best with with what we uh, have at the minute, and I think this is the best that I can do with what I have available to me. Okay, um, a little bit about how this would work. Okay, so I have a refill pad in front of me here. I have a pretty thick marker, so everything should be big enough that you can read it. I hope and. Um, the way this would work is that I will work out mathematics here, and then when I'm finished a page, I'll move it over here. So information that you've seen me write will be available to read here as well. This sheet of graph paper here is just to soak up extra ink from the marker, so I would be putting that under um, you know, any new pages or something like that. Uh, Hopefully everyone can read this. Um, if you can't, please let me know. But this is roughly the size of uh, handwriting I'll be trying to maintain throughout. So we'll take a really simple example of something. Um, let's say I took a simple quadratic equation. Let's say I took x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Okay. Now, um, Looking at the camera here and, and seeing the feed, it actually looks quite readable to me. I, I don't know if it is for you guys, but um, I'll try to write at least that big, okay? Um, let's work through this one, okay? So how do we solve a quadratic equation? We can either factorize or we can use the quadratic formula. This one is one of the easier ones. It factorizes, which is why I picked it, okay? When we factorize, what do we do? We check the second sign here. If it's plus, they're both the same sign. If it's minus, they're different. We check the sign in the middle. That's plus, so they're both plus. Okay, and now the factors here, the numbers and the factors, they have to add to give 5 and multiply to give 6. So the easy solution is 2 and 3. And then, of course, since both of these factors multiply to give 0, one of them must be equal to 0. That tells me that x plus 2 is going to be equal to 0, or x plus 3 is 0, okay? And then simply moving the constants to the other side, we would have x equals minus 2 and x equals minus 3, okay? Now hopefully you can read that. Of course it was uh, you know, not relevant to most of the modules I'm teaching, I'm just trying to make sure that everybody can read um, what I'm, I'm able to write here, okay? If not, please let me know. I will do my best to ensure that the um, uh, what you're reading here is visible, okay? Now, you might be worried about my hand covering things. Like I said, when I, once I would be finished with this page, I would move this to the side. That would stay in frame while I'm working on this page, and then it would be covered. So. Um, you should have you should have enough that you can follow okay um, uh, further to that of course you can always rewind you can pause and uh, freeze the frame to see what uh, what's written on the page hopefully a little bit more clearly um, okay let's continue uh, in that vein then let me talk a little bit about what I intend to do beyond just these videos and beyond what I think uh, um, might work in this context, okay? Um, I do not normally provide solutions to past exam papers in a downloadable fashion. I wouldn't normally upload uh, a complete solution set to previous year's exams. Um, this is an atypical situation, and this year I will be uploading um, solution sets for past exams for all of the modules I teach, okay? They will be handwritten, um, they will, I will scan them, I will, I will upload them to Moodle, and they will be easily downloaded, okay? Um, beyond that, I think, 
I think if people are, you know, having trouble with something, the best thing to do is just to send me an email and ask for help. Okay, I know I, I say this a lot and I harp on about it, but it's going to become more important over this closure period. So here's how I would ask you to to ask for help. If, if you're struggling with something, if you're trying something and you're not sure how it works, just try it on a piece of paper, take a picture of it with your phone and attach that picture to an email asking for help. Okay, and what I will do is I will read it, I will scratch out a solution on paper, I will take a picture of that and I will send that back to you as a reply. Okay, um, that's, that's what I can do to help. Okay, um, I would try to make sure that uh, you know that the the videos that I would be making would be available for your normal lecture time. Um, that might not be possible. I don't know. I've never done this kind of video production before. Um, I would also say that you know I'm not trying to get internet famous here, but it might be helpful if you were to subscribe to my YouTube channel, at least for the closure period, okay? And the only reason I would say that is, is maybe it will help you find videos. I don't know. Um, we can look into that. Um, uh, obviously, feel free not to do so if you don't want to, and feel free to um, unsubscribe at a later date um, after you've seen all of the material that I'm going to present to you. You know, that's completely fine. Um, but I think if we're going to try live streaming, uh, then you being set up as subscribers would probably help. Um, and we could use YouTube's notification service to, um, to make use of that. Okay. Um, have I any more points that I want to make? Um, you know, stay safe, take care of yourselves. Um, take the necessary precautions to protect yourselves and to keep your loved ones safe. Um, uh, this disease is absolutely something we can overcome as a society, provided we, we all play our part. And hopefully we'll all be back to normal, um, doing things the way that you're usually done in a matter of weeks. Okay? So we'll leave it there. Uh, I'll talk more later. And... Um, if you have any feedback, if this kind of presentation style doesn't work for you, please let me know. I'll do my best to, to change things in such a way that they match what you, um, what you would hope for. Okay. Um, okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.